looking at a health care that would be a fantastic tribute to our country, a health care that will take care of people finally for the right reasons and also at the right cost. The president still touting an alternative to Obamacare a day after a vote on the Senate Republicans' health care plan was shelved. There wasn't enough support, even among Republicans, to pass that bill. And there certainly isn't support on the Democratic side. Political editor John Delano reports that Senator Bob Casey believes it has some major flaws. Often considered the most laid-back, softest-spoken man in the Senate, Bob Casey is exploding over the Republican health care bill. I don't know why the hell, in a health care bill, they've got to give away the store to the richest Americans. It makes no sense. It's obnoxious, and we should reject it. You sound angry over this. I am angry, very angry. What angers the senator are provisions in the Republican bill that hurt Pennsylvanians, including those who think they're okay because they have private, employer-provided health insurance. If you have employer-sponsored coverage, you have protections that you didn't have before the Affordable Care Act. Those protections are at risk in the Senate health care bill. There's just absolutely no question about that. Protections to prevent insurance companies from charging more to those with pre-existing medical conditions or imposing annual or lifetime limits. But it's the impact of the Republican bill on those who get Medicaid or Medicaid expansion that really angers Casey. They're taking away the guarantee of Medicaid. And I wish they'd stop lying about it and be straight with the American people about what they're doing to Medicaid. This will decimate Medicaid, and the whole time they're giving away the store. Casey says Republicans are robbing Medicaid to give tax breaks to the wealthy and still refuse to work with Democrats to find reasonable solutions. They basically stiff-armed Democrats and said, we don't need you. We're going to pass this bill without you. And until yesterday, I'm not sure I heard a single Republican stand up and say they wanted to work with, with, with Democrats. Now, no surprise, Casey's Republican colleague, Pat Toomey, has a different take. Toomey was one of the 12 Republican senators who drafted the first bill. In a statement today, Toomey said, quote, The Better Care Reconciliation Act is not perfect, but it is a positive step toward repairing the damages caused by Obamacare and putting Medicaid on a sustainable fiscal path. Toomey added that he hopes Republican senators will come together quickly to repeal and replace Obamacare. Christine?